start, you want to forget uh, what happened between the start and then being able to come back once you got down? Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're having trouble starting the games on time and um, bit us again. Um, and then I just think when we got down, you know, we were trying to find any sign of life and, um, you know, we get one there in the second and then, you know, you battle back and then you're finally in a game. And then, but we just, we just shot ourselves in the foot um, too much too early and, and weren't able to claw our way back. What do you make of the starts, Kyle? You guys get scoring chances early, but I mean, once they get one, it seems like it ends up turning into two pretty quick and then you chase it. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I don't know if I have a definitive answer for you. It's just, you know, we're a, we're a group that, um, you know, is making a lot of mistakes right now, and they're they're costing us. They're ending up in the back of our net, and those are things that we have to clean up. And um, you know, that's that's what's costing us games right now. And it's, uh, you know, with with who we have in this room, it's um, it's a frustrating thing to. Uh, to continue to happen. Is it just a matter of stress involved with getting in a losing streak and just trying to get back it, out of it? No, I don't think so. I don't buy that. I think, you know, you're, we're professional athletes. This is what we do. you got to be able to get ready for every game. Um, you know, regardless of what's going on, I've been through, I've been through streaks in the past where, you know, they look like there's no end in sight, and this isn't one of those. It's not, that's not where we're at. But, um, you know, today I just... I didn't like our game today at all. Given all that, I mean, how surprising is it that Fields Hunt is a fragile group? It shouldn't be a fragile group. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be. And it's something we got to address. Um, something that that needs to be needs to be fixed. I mean, this is a I mean it's a it's a big boy league. Like we're you come in with expectations. You come in, and everybody's talking about the playoffs, and you got to go perform. And we're not doing that right now, and it's um, it's frustrating. But um, that's where we're at, and nobody's going to throw us a, a lifeline here. We're going to have to do it ourselves. It's going to come from this room and um, and the people that are in it. You've been talking about it. You've been practicing it. We're here. We're watching practice and stuff, but it's not changing. So, I guess, do you change what you've been doing or, or talking about or whatever it may be? I think it's time to look at everything. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different conversations that go on behind closed doors and, and you know, things are said. But, you know, it's time to uh, – it's probably time to look at look at a few different things. And, um, you know, sometimes it's going back to basics. Sometimes it's it's tweaking a, a thing or two here and there to, to try and get a spark. But um, that's something we got to figure out and we got to do it with the coaching staff and, and try and turn this thing around. You know, end results aside, how much of a maybe mental or emotional boost was it to have Tage back in the lineup tonight? He obviously did get on the score sheet in some way, but how nice was it to have that skill back in? Yeah, it's obviously nice, really unexpected. Um, you know, it's it's tough when you jump in without any practice time, but um, I thought he did a great job tonight coming in there and under tough circumstances. And, you know, he's such a dynamic player for us that it was, uh, it was great to see him back in the lineup. Kyle, you mentioned what you didn't like about the game. Can you give a couple examples? Um, I didn't like our, I, I didn't like our aura. I didn't like how we, um, how we were on the bench. Um, you know, we're just, we just, um, don't seem to have it right now. And that's not a, that's not something that you can manufacture. That's something you have to work for. And we have to, we have to put the work in to go get it. And like I said, nobody's nobody's coming to save us. It's got to be everybody in this room, and we have to collectively decide if we're going to do that. Nobody else.